Hi, I'm Kimberly with The Fat Quarter Shop, and today I'm super excited to show you our second shortcut quilt video. Our pattern today is called the Layer Cake Lemonade, and this pattern uses one Moda Layer Cake. A Moda Layer Cake includes 42 10 inch squares, and from one Moda Layer Cake, you can get one 48 by 61 inch quilt. Today I'm using the Surrounded by Love Layer Cake by Deb Strain since Valentine's Day is just around the corner. Make sure you download your pattern for free at our website, www.fatquartershop.com. Our first step is to divide your layer cake into stacks. We're going to make one stack of 18 light prints and one stack of 20 dark prints. So I'm going to divide them out on the table. I'm going to make one light stack, one dark stack, and then we're going to have four prints that we don't use today. I'm going to put them over to the side. So let's divide our layer cake. So now we've made our stacks. We made one stack with 18 light prints, one stack with 20 dark prints, and one stack with four prints you're not going to use. So we can go ahead and put away the ones that we're not gonna use. You can just put them in your stash and use them for another project. We're also going to put away our light stack for now because our next step is going to be sewing our dark rows together. We're gonna make four rows and each row will have five prints. So let's just lay out our prints and don't think too much about the placement of the fabrics. Just have fun mixing and matching your colors. Now we're going to just put everything into stacks. We will go ahead and take this row to our sewing machine and I'm going to show you how to sew your first dark row together. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark my first square on the left with just a simple pin to mark it. And what that's going to tell me is that stays on the left and we're not going to sew a square next to it. We're going to take our first two squares, put them right sides together, and I'm just going to pin one time at the very bottom. When you're sewing, you're going to use a 2.0 stitch length, 100% cotton thread, and a quarter inch seam allowance. So you'll just start sewing. At the very end, you're going to want to remove your pin because you don't want to damage your sewing machine. Now I've sewn this together. Now with my pin on my left, I'm going to know not to add to that side. So I'm just going to take the next square and I'm going to continue this process until all five squares are sewn together. So let's just keep sewing. So now you've sewn your first dark row together. You're going to want to repeat that to make a total of four dark rows. Each row should measure 10 inches by 48 inches. Our next step is going to be to press our dark row. You can take your pin out since that was just a marking tool. We don't need that anymore. You're going to lay your fabrics right sides together and first you're going to set your seams. So now you're going to push it open, just finger press a little bit out, and just press your seam. You're going to repeat on all of your seams. Go ahead and finish the rest of your dark rows, and I'm going to show you how to piece your light rows together. 
we're gonna make three rows and each row is gonna have six light prints. Next thing you wanna do is sew your rows together just like we did on our dark rows. Now you have assembled three light rows. And what we're gonna do in this step is follow the pattern and we're gonna trim down twice. We're gonna trim four and three quarters inch off each short side. So I'm gonna line up my ruler, the four and three quarter inch line, and also my bottom line to make sure it's straight and cut. And then I keep a scrap bin on my table and I'm just gonna throw it in there and save my fabric for another project. I'm going to flip my row around and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to line up at four and three quarter and at the bottom and cut. Now we're going to take the light row and cut it in half So when I line up, I'm going to line up the left edge at 5 inch and then one of my seams with a cross line so that we know that it is straight in both directions and we'll just cut, you know, cut maybe one 10 inch direction at a time, pull it down. So you want to line up again, line up your lines. You want to go really slow because you want to measure twice, cut once. Let's make our last cut. And there you go, you've turned your light strip into two strips. And now you should have six light rows that each measure five by 48 inches. You won't use one of your rows, so you can set that aside. And let's go to our last step, which is assembling the quilt. You've got your light row. And one of your dark rows. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna pin your rows together. The first thing you're going to do is fold each row in half and mark a pin. This is very similar to how you assemble your borders on your quilt. By pinning in the center of each, you're going to get everything lined up in the center and the sides and so your quilt will lay flat. Once you sew it together. We're going to put those right sides together and just repin so you've marked your centers. And now we're going to pin on each end first. So you're going to pin on the right. Now you'll pin all the way on the left. And what you're doing is you're just lining up the edges. And then I just kind of fluff it a little bit and get all your edges lined up. And now I'm going to pin all the way down approximately every four inches. And I like to pin a lot. I feel like my quilts come out a lot better. The more you pin, it's more accurate. It just keeps everything really nice. Can, I always say you can never pin too much. We're going to sew our rows together. Now as you come up to a pin, you're going to remove your pin so you don't sew over it. So now you've got your first two quilt rows together and you're going to continue sewing until your quilt top is complete. So 
now we're going to press our quilt top. We're going to use the same techniques that we used before. So now we've pressed our quilt top, and then this is something that I love to do. It's my most important step. I go starch crazy, basically. Get my starch. I use premium starch with no flaking. That's really important that it's not flaking because if not, you will get flakes and it will get all over the quilt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the entire top very heavy and I'm gonna wait two minutes and then I'm gonna do an all over press. And now your layer cake lemonade quilt top is complete. And making this quilt was just as simple as that. Thanks for quilting with me today and make sure to watch our next Shortcut Quilts video.